Hello everyone, this is Prospecting for Minerals. This is a book that we're going to look at in this video. And as a collector of books, this is one that I have. I thought I, thought I would make a really short video to just show you this book. This book is very rare. Let's open it up. It has someone's name there and it says, Awaz Iran, so belong to someone who um, lived in Iran a long time ago. I, I googled the person, but I could not find them. This book was published by Mirror Publishers. That uh, was, I don't know if it still exists, a publishing company in Soviet-era Russia. There's some stuff there which I, I do not speak Russian. Prospecting for Minerals, compiled by Y.D. Kitaski. Translated from the Russian by A. Gurevich. Mir Publishers, Moscow. Cool. I'm sorry, I just have to give it a whiff here just to see. Oh, it smells amazing. This one was first published in 1963. This is the second printing that I own. Let's take a look at the contents. This book is actually quite interesting, and I don't know, this is some pretty interesting things. How to collect rocks and minerals. So that's kind of cool. All right, you can learn how to collect rocks and minerals. Prospecting for iron. I mean, who does that nowadays, right? I mean, I guess I guess you could. Prospecting for copper. Prospecting for tin. Prospecting for tungsten. Prospecting for nickel. Prospecting for manganese. Here we go. Prospecting for gold. Well, that's that's valuable. Prospecting for uranium. And then it, here it says bauxites, prospecting for diamonds. Wow. Prospecting for graphite, for mica, and then safety rules for prospectors. What a strange book. It's very different from other books that I have. Um, I have a lot of science books. This one is kind of unique. Mineral deposits occur deep in the earth or at its surface in the most diverse forms and their importance to man, to economic and industrial development, is only too well known. Cool. Let's see what else we have in here. See if it gives us some more information. Here we go. How to collect rocks and minerals. Let's take a look at this. Foundation and distribution of minerals in the Earth's crust. First, let us define what is a mineral. A mineral is a homogeneous body formed in the Earth's crust through the agency of various physical and chemical processes. The entire crust of the Earth consists of minerals. They occur as solid masses or rocks of which the Earth's crust is composed. Granites, basalts, limestones, schists, or as local accumulations of varying size, such as veins, pockets, or impregnations in rocks. This is how deposits of ores, graphite and mica, and other minerals are formed. Some knowledge in this book. Magmatic mineralization. This is, this is cool. Oh, there's, there's pictures. By the way, the quality is, is quite good. This, by the way, this here, let me just show you something else. So this here, I'm going to take it off because we have to see, okay, here we go. Prospecting for minerals. So this is what it looks like if you get it without the dust jacket. So if you manage to actually find this book on the internet, and as always, I will look and I'll try to leave a link in the description. But for example, the, the, the last video I posted, I recently posted a video rather, and I remember posting the link and there was only one copy. Um, and it was this type of book. So yeah, really cool. Just gotta give it another whiff here. It's a collector, it's just really fun to, make these videos to show you some of my uh, of my collectibles you know um, I collect other things too not just uh, books what's this let's take a look at this written by a group of Soviet geologists Wow this book states in a simple and easy to grasp form the basic laws that govern the formation of minerals in ores and rocks the knowledge of these laws is essential to prospecting and exploration Detailed consideration is given to modern prospecting and exploration methods. Separate chapters are devoted to specific metals. Okay, yeah, we saw that. Very cool. The reader will learn about the actual causes of the link between granites, gold ores, and non-ferrous metals between the serpentine and platinum. Very, very cool. All right, so, very cool. Ample space is given to the equipment used in prospecting and accident prevention. This book will be read with interest not only by geologists, but also by nature lovers and those who have made mineral collecting their hobby. Very cool. Yeah, let's, let's uh, zoom in here, see if we can zoom in, give you a better look 
at some of the contents of this book. Let's see what else we have here. This is a placer structure. Where to look for tin deposits. The first guide to tin is the presence of granites. Interesting. Yeah, it's uh, you know, being in a cave. This makes me think of being in a cave, right? Because you know you have minerals and stuff, and you know caves go under the earth. I was in a, I was in a cave once when um, I was a little kid, and let me tell you, I was I was terrified. I was very very scared. Um, it's you know not something that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty scary. Some people, um, I, I believe they're called spelunkers. I, I, oh, I hope I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm gonna Google it after I make this video. Ultra basic and basic rocks. What's this? Let's take a look at this, see what this says. It says here, ultra basic and basic rocks are generally dark gray, gray, gray green or black green, or fine to medium grain texture. The monotonous appearance of these rocks is often broken by quartz veins of later origin. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so kind of an interesting book. Um, just wanted to show it to you. Again, it's called uh, Prospecting for Minerals. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to hit subscribe, like, all that stuff. Also, um, I have another YouTube channel. It's called The Internet Sorcerer. Check that out. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But um, if you get my courses, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. But kind of an interesting book, right? Let me just let me just take the dust jacket off one more time just to show you what it looks like without the dust jacket since since I'm here and it's a very nice day outside right now. So prospecting for minerals, yeah. Kind of a kind of a rare one. I actually got this book um, because I was buying other math books. I was buying I was trying to get some uh, math books by mere publishers because Many, many years ago, what happened was uh, someone left a comment and they were like, oh, you should check out books by beer publishers. And I'm like, what is that? And people kept leaving that comment. And so I looked, I'm like, oh no, way too expensive. And then finally one day I'm like, you know, I should just buy the book. So I, I bought some more expensive books. By more expensive, I mean like, you know, these books cost me 30, 40 bucks maybe. Uh, this one maybe not quite as much. But I finally sucked it up and, and got some of the books and they're quite unique. I have a, a, a really cool book on differential equations by Mirror Publishers, actually, that uh, I'm going to look at. Actually, right after I make this video, I'm going to go I'm gonna go sit down and look at it because uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of an interesting book. It has um, different approaches to solving uh, differential equations that it's just very different from a lot of the, the modern books and presentation and stuff. But anyways, rambling about differential equations. Uh, Prospecting for Minerals, kind of an interesting book. Uh, again, I'll, I'll, I'll look for it, but... I, I don't I don't know if I'll find able to find any copies. So yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of books. I wish I could just you know collect tons of books, but I am running out of space. Uh, maybe actually I have some empty bookshelves. Prospecting for minerals. Take care.